Hi, my name is Kevin Hale, and I'm one of the creators of WooFu. In these series of video tutorials, I'm going to take you on a brief tour of our key features so that you can get up and running quickly with WooFu to collect information over the internet. What you're looking at right now is the nerve center of our application, the form manager. This is the first thing you see when you log into WooFu. It presents an overview of the forms you've created within the application. Since I don't have any forms right now, I'm going to create one by clicking on the new form button here. This is our form builder, the workhorse of our application. It's divided into two parts, the live form preview on the right and a control panel on the left. The control panel is divided into three sections that can be accessed by the tabs at the top. The first tab presents the type of fields we can add to our Wufu form. When we click on one of these buttons, it adds an input to our form, which can be seen in our form preview on the right. When we select the field in the preview, the control panel automatically shows the settings and options available for that input under the field settings tab. When you make a change in the control panel, it will automatically update in the preview. I'm going to make this field required so the user can't leave it blank. Notice the asterisk that shows next to the field when I set this. Now if I click on the form settings tab, I'm presented with all of the options available to us at the form level. Today I'm going to create one of the most common types of forms created within Wufu, the contact form. There's a lot of features to play with here, but the most popular deals with what happens after the user submits an entry. Under the confirmation message settings, you can either show a specific message to our users or redirect them to a website of our choosing after they successfully fill out our form. I'm going to present a message and change it so it's more specific to our contact form. To add another field, just click on the Add a Field tab at the top. For a contact form, I'm going to request an email address and a drop down to help structure my data. Notice that you can drag to add a field to your form and then drag to rearrange after you've added. For the drop down field, I can manage the choices available in the field settings. For this contact form, I'm going to ask my user to help structure and organize their feedback by question, comment, and suggestion. Here. Now that my form is completed, I'm going to hit the Save Form button at the bottom and then return to the Form Manager.